For a couple of videos now, I have talked about how I use and absolutely love a new app called Tana for knowledge, task, and you know, personal note taking and things like that. Well, the thing is, it is a web-based application, and it doesn't, you know, work the best on mobile. You know, just all the information on a tiny screen, it's a complicated problem, and the Tana team is busy focusing on making it work on the desktop and web natively first. For a lot of people, when they first check out Tana, one of the first things they ask me is, hey, how, how do I capture things when I'm out and about? You know, I have this phone on me. How do I use this to capture all my thoughts and ideas in the world around me? Well. If you've been around this channel for a long time, then you know that the answer for me is this little doohickey right here, you know, my pocket notebook. I can't live without this. Most of my notes go into here. But getting back to the real question here is how do I use the phone to capture things when out and about? Well, that was up until this week when Tana has officially launched the Tana Capture application. This isn't a full-featured Tana on the iPhone. What it is is simply a way to quickly capture your ideas into your Tana graph while you're out and about, thus the name. Now what I'm showing off here is a beta version of the application I've been testing for the past couple of weeks. I'm planning for this video to go live when you can download the application from the Apple App Store, but just note that some things may be different in my beta version from the one that you can download right now. But before we get into talking about Tana Capture, I want to talk about how I have been capturing notes digitally up until this point. And unfortunately, it's an application that often gets overlooked when we talk about all these new note-taking applications. And that's, of course, the Notes app built into the iPhone. Over the past couple years, Apple has done a really great job about improving the Notes application. And one of the best things about it is it is heavily integrated into all of your Apple devices. What this means is that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you can almost always share or export something from another app right into a new Notes document. While I'm no longer doing that as much as I used to because of the new Tana Capture application that we'll get to in just a couple of seconds, I am still using the Notes application when I'm having a running stream of ideas in my head and I want to, you know, manipulate a list of things before throwing it into Tana. Say I'm out on a walk and I have a new idea for a video that I want to release for this channel. Well, I can quickly jot down a quick title, walk another couple steps, and write down a couple of notes on what I think the video should be about. Say five, ten minutes later, I can go back to that same note and add a couple more ideas that have occurred to me. Now that we have the release of Tana Capture, I tend to think of Apple Notes as more of a living note, something that I'm going to be editing over the next couple hours or a couple of days before sending into my Tana graph. For instance, on the way home from church today, I opened up Apple Notes and I started to type up a list of my current productivity stack that I'm going to share with other people in the action-powered productivity uh, circle group that RJ Nestor set up. If you're interested in that, I'll add a link down below. Things like that, living documents I want to be constantly editing on my phone for the next couple hours or days, that does best in Apple Notes. But let's hop over to the main topic of the video and talk about the Tana Capture application. So at this point in time, the Tana Capture application is really simple, and that's a good thing. All it does is streamline the process of getting your thoughts and ideas into your Tana graph and just getting out of the way as quickly as possible. Let's take a look at it. So like I said, the basic interface is very streamlined. Once you're logged in, there's only six things you can do. Five different ways of quickly capturing a note and one to look at a history of the notes that you've already captured. This app is fully focused on capturing your ideas while you're out and about so that you can process them later when you're on a full web browser. Let's first look at the Write tab. Write tab is very simple. It's basically what you would expect in an application like this. I'll click on the Write button and you can just quickly type out a cool note. Let's talk about my new YouTube goals. This channel is going to be changing a little bit. We'll get to that in a future video. And then you just hit that blue send button and off it goes. You can see that the history button grows green while it sinks up to the cloud. Tap on there, you can see the note I just sent as well as all the other ones from times past. The other options are just as straightforward. You know, of course there is a camera option. Open up the application, you know, you've been there as well as I have. You're in the store, you're like, hey, that's a great deal on laminate flooring. I don't need it right now, but I might need it at some point in the future. So. Snap, got a picture of that, use the photo, boom, it's gone. It's up in Tana. Clicking on the library button will do the same thing. It'll open up your photo library so that you can choose a photo that you've already taken to sync up to Tana. I'm not gonna do that because I just did that and I have some photos of the kids in. We don't put them on the internet, so no go. I'll tell you what though, the two remaining buttons, voice memo and scan text, are the two that I've been using the most often so far. Voice memo is pretty simple. Click on it and just start talking and just dictate to your phone what you want your note to be. It's really a great feature. I do voice dictations all the time, especially when I'm out driving or when I'm out on the walk and I don't want to pull out that pen and paper. 
send it and you'll see right now it just syncs up to the talent cloud right now what it does is sync up an actual audio file it doesn't do any audio transcription or something like that as of yet but you know the talent team might get to it at some point that is definitely a low-hanging fruit that i hope to see in a future version and then of course there is this scan text button which is absolutely killer for me because i like to read nonfiction and actual paper books and I specify nonfiction here because the fiction books I tend to read are usually at night and seeing how Sanderson is a very prolific writer, a long writer, those books up there on the shelf, they tend to get pretty heavy when you're holding them over your head at night. But anyway, back to the nonfiction. This is a great book, by the way, John Mark Comer's The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. Definitely a problem in today's modern world. Say I notice something that really speaks to me. Well, I can open up the Tana Capture app, hit scan text, and basically just take a picture of the text there, click insert, and boom, it creates an auto scan text version of it. Now, it's not perfect, but it's really good and a great way to incorporate notes from a physical book when you're reading and wanting to take digital notes. As excited as I am about the Tana Capture application, that is basically all there is to it. Now, of course, it is a modern iOS application, and that means that the Tana team has gone and integrated with other parts of the operating system. Now, one of the most important of these is with lock screen widgets. Now, if I just swipe down to show you what my lock screen looks like, you'll notice that I now have four icons on here, each one for the different Tana Capture methods. First of all, there's just a plus button for quickly adding text. There is the camera button to take a quick picture while you're out on the go. Now, there's not one for the library because if you're on the lock screen, chances are you don't need access to the library. This is more for quickly capturing something without opening a Tana Capture application. Of course, there's the voice dictation, which is, as I said, my favorite feature of the Tana Capture application so far. This has completely eliminated Otter for me as of right now. I do use Whisper AI, but that's a separate matter. And then finally, there is the scan text, which we just demonstrated on the book. Now, you may think that I have just put all four of those on display here to demonstrate the Tana Capture application, but no, I love this quick capture so much that they have replaced the previous lock screen widgets that I had there. This is how my lock screen now looks day to day. Well, that's about it. This is a very straightforward video because this is a very straightforward application. It's really easy to use. All of the power is just in how easy it is to quickly capture something and get it into your Tana Graph. Now, yes, you can't sit there and really work with your large knowledge graph or task repository in Tana while you're out and about, really in an elegant manner, you know, outside of the web browser, but you can quickly capture ideas, and that's what this is all about. Like I hinted, I've been on a bit of a break for a while, and I have some changes in mind for this YouTube channel. I do hope you stick around. I'll see you next time. Bye. That's not part of the video. Use the photo, boom. Apparently, screen recording has a limited, you know, amount of time on iOS. I don't need it yet, so we'll get to that in a little bit. I'll restart it then.